Hey! That works much better. Much, much better. I'm going to go ahead and do just a bit more on the sides just to uh, make it accommodate other cables, but I think this is going to do the job. I'm pretty excited now. If I really want to get fancy with it, I might even be able to use a Q-tip with some acetone to really smooth out this uh, this cut. And really be a ninja. The rule of electronic repair, you should always be a ninja. Really not bad. Really not bad just for a hand cut like that, hand route. I mean, that's hard to tell, I think. Uh, especially if I got some acetone in there, just right under, right above the, the jack. Um, gotta be careful with acetone though, because it does melt plastic. And uh, yeah, maybe use an X-Acto to cut away the, uh, the excess lip there. Which is not really cooperating with me. Interesting, it got kind of rubbery and moves around a lot. Maybe just clip it with some wire cutters. Well, these wire cutters have seen better days. Looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. And so now, if I press down all the way to make sure the case is closed, and press down all the way to make sure the case is closed, <laughs> see it's it fits in much more snug now with that cutout. Go ahead and do a full test with the uh, battery in. Okay. And well, I might as well just put the screws in so I don't have to press down the case. Plus that way I know if it's uh, if there's anything else I have to do. I'll just put these two in for right now to get an idea of the whoops, that's my little lamp goes, all right. So I don't have to press down the case anymore. Let's go ahead and just plug in plugs in real nice now. Look at that. I think we're good to go. I think that is a repair folks. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to use my air compressor, air this out, get the screen cover just bloop, drop it back on, put a couple screws in, call it a day. Look at that, nice and charging. If I wiggle it, nothing. It's a good repair. And I can flip open the lid so you can see, of course, that it works. So uh, yeah, I don't do videos like this where I do the entire repair on video in real time. It makes the videos a little bit longer. It looks like I've been doing this for 59, or sorry, 49 minutes so far. It's about an hour to do this full repair. 
But I like to do that sometimes. Let people know that, uh, you know, um, not everything online needs to be fast forwarded, you know, because you, you get, it gives you an idea of what it takes to do repairs. You know, even simple ones like this. Uh, they do take time to do correctly. But uh, in the case of this one, it's a success. Uh, my buddy that gave me this, he'll be happy to see this, I think. And uh, I'll have a thermal camera to do some cool testing and, re and future repairs with. I love it when you can repair the things that do the repairs. Uh, hopefully this video is helpful and fun. Uh, I just make these to help people, so I don't you know, care if you click on anything. Uh, if you leave me a message, that's always nice. Nice to hear from folks. But um, on to other things, on to the next thing. Uh, have fun repairing, rejuvenating things. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.